This is Autodesk Maya. It's one of the most powerful 3D software in the film and gaming industry. And this is Blender. It's just a tiny open source 3D modeling software. Well then, how did Maya got crushed and lose its crown to a weak game engine like Blender? Yes, you heard me right. Blender was a terrible game engine back in the day. But today in 2024, it almost became one of the industry's standard and got one of the best glow ups. So what happened? How did Maya got crushed by an open source software like Blender? Okay, let's go on them and see the difference first holy jesus don't you think that price is a little salty maya well it is and many people think same as you let's say you're a 70 year old kid who wants to learn 3d modeling you have a passion inside of you about making a short film or maybe make models for a game maybe you just want to inspire people with your work or just do 3d modeling as a hobby but it doesn't matter how big you dream if you can't afford the software itself right the problem about maya is many industries and individuals can't afford it in the other hand we have blender which is called completely free but the free stuffs are always tend to be bad right just wait for it i'll talk about how powerful it is later in the video but first let's talk about the term FOSS. It means free and open source software. After seeing big companies taking horrible decisions, I'm talking about you, Unity. Open source softwares became like a gift from God and Blender's one of them. Thanks to the team developing Blender, many kids had the chance of learning 3D modeling without selling their kidneys. But that can't be the only reason for Maya to lose this crown, right? Because all of the professionals are still using Maya. So people thought Blender would be just a children's toy and got forgotten in the future. But Blender has got better and better each year and grow its community. Even some of the professionals working in the industry started to switching up the blender. It got so popular that a huge community formed in a few years and YouTube channels started to pop out like Blender grew and Smeep. So it's safe to say that the most powerful thing Blender has was its community. But does that mean Blender is weak? I mean we need power, we can't just make models with the power of friendship Twilight Sparkles. You can almost do everything with Blender without ever needing to use Maya. Motion graphics, 3D modeling, rigging, animation, texture painting, sculpting, visual effects, and so on. Also, thanks to the Blender's huge community, there are countless tutorials and forum pages. But if you get stuck while using Maya, get ready to deep dive into the documentation because not many people are making Maya tutorials. Disclosure To not get assassinated by the Maya users, I want to say that Maya is really powerful and easier to learn compared to Blender. Personally, I didn't use Maya even once. But since Maya is the industry standard, even today, many huge companies are still using it. So, which one should you choose? In my opinion, if you're just starting out and want to try 3D modeling or want to do it as a hobby, choose Blender. But if you want to find a job in the AAA game industry, maybe you can sell your kidney and start to learn Maya. I recently started to learn Blender and you can follow my work on our station or Instagram. The link is in the description. Stay tuned, I'm making a different video about my 3D modeling journey. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I'll edit that video faster. My overall experience says that the Blender has an edge to Autodesk Maya for beginners, but since the AAA game companies are still using Maya, you will have a better chance getting hired as a 3D artist if you're using Maya. But don't forget, these are just softwares, you should only use them as a tool. If you're really passionate about 3D modeling, just choose a software that complements your needs and of course think about your wallet as well. Also if you're into game development, I have great new for you. The legend himself, Brack Keys, is back. And can you guess what this first video is about? It's about Godot. Godot is also a free and open source software just like Blender. And it's growing really fast just like Blender. Why am I saying that? Because I already used it for a week and documented my experience with it. You can watch that video from here and learn my thoughts about the new rival of Unity. Who knows, maybe it can clap Unity just like Blender did to Maya. Please don't assassinate me, Unity fanboys.